This is the Music History Today podcast for October 28th. On today's show, Bill Barry leaves and John Lennon and Elvis Presley make history. First up, though, on this date, speaking of Elvis, in 1956, Elvis Presley became the first artist to succeed himself at the number one spot on the Billboard singles chart when his song Love Me Tender succeeded his song Don't Be Cruel. In 1962, songwriter Jeff Berry married his songwriting partner, Ellie Greenwich. In 1958, Buddy Holly performed for the final time on television. It was on American Bandstand. In 1965, the Supremes recorded their song, My World is Empty Without You. In 1971, John Lennon, along with Yoko Ono, recorded the song, Happy Christmas, War is Over. In 1977, Steve Perry performed for the first time with Journey when they performed at the Old Waldorf in San Francisco. In 1978, Kiss's TV movie Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park premiered. In 1997, Bill Berry left the group R.E.M. In 2004, Eminem started his own channel called Shade 45 on the Sirius Satellite Radio Network. In 2003, David Bowie and his supermodel icon wife, Iman, became the new spokespeople for the Tommy Hilfiger fashion line. In 2013, the Jonas Brothers split up. They, of course, got back together. In 2014, the Allman Brothers Band performed their final gig together. And in 2016, after 36 years, the Desmond Carrington The Music Goes Round BBC radio show ended. In classical music in 1828, at the age of nine, Clara Week made her public debut on piano. In 1893, Tchaikovsky conducted his Symphony No. 6 in B minor, a.k.a. Pathétique, for the very first time. And in 1915, Richard Strauss's piece, Alphen Symphonie, premiered. In theater in 1961, the musical Fiorello closed on Broadway, and in 2003, the musical play Tonight's the Night, based on the songbook of Rod Stewart, opened in London, England, in the West End. Albums that were released on October 28th include in 1966 when the Kinks released Face to Face. In 1969, Golden Earring released Eight Miles High. In 1977, the Sex Pistols released their classic Never Mind the Bollocks, Here's the Sex Pistols. Also in 1977, Neil Young released Decade. In 1978, Rush released Hemispheres. In 1982, The Dream Syndicate released The Days of Wine and Roses. In 1983, Nick Hayward released North of a Miracle. In 1985, Oingo Boingo released Dead Man's Party. In 1985, same day, Bob Dylan released Biograph. In 1988, Mike and the Mechanics released The Living Years. In 1989, Deborah Harry released Deaf, Dumb, and Blonde. In 1991, Richard Marks released Rush Street. Genesis released We Can't Dance. And Queen released their Greatest Hits Volume 2. In 1993, Bob Dylan was at it again. This time, he released World Gone Wrong. In 1994, Melon Colin released Tiny Tunes. In 1996, The Beatles released their Anthology 3 collection. In 1997, the Aquabats released The Fury of the Aquabats. Asia released Asia Live in Cone. Judas Priest released Jugulator. Dave Matthews Band released Dave Matthews Band Live at Red Rocks, 81595. Michael McDonald released Blue Obsession. Eddie Money released Shaken with the Money Man. Fish released Slip, Stitch, and Pass. Kiss released Carnival of Souls, The Final Sessions. The Flaming Lips released Zerika. And in 1999, Tina Turner released 24 7. In 2002, David Gray released A New Day at Midnight. In 2003, Him released A Sides. The Moody Blues released December. The Strokes released Room on Fire. And REM released In Time, The Best of REM 1988 to 2003. In 2008, School of Seven Bells released Alpinisms, and The Cure released 413 Dream. Singles that were released in the UK on October 28th include in 1966 when the Spencer Davis Group released their classic Gimme Some Lovin'. 
Meanwhile, in America, in 1963, the Beach Boys did a twofer. They released Be True to Your School and In My Room. In 1969, the Chicago Transit Authority, later known as Chicago, released their classic, Beginnings. In 1971, the Jay Giles Band released Looking for a Love. In 1978, Billy Joel released My Life. In 1984, Tina Turner released her big hit, Private Dancer. In 1991, Metallica released The Unforgiven. And in 1993, 10,000 Maniacs released Because the Night. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 28th include singer Frank Ocean, country music singer Brad Paisley, singer Ben Harper, country music singer Charlie Daniels, Justin Guarini of American Idol fame, classical conductor Howard Hansen, William Reed of the Jesus and Mary Chain, Stephen Morris of New Order, Thelma Hopkins of Tony Orlando and Dawn, jazz singer Cleo Lane, Graham Bond of the Graham Bond Organization, Ricky Lee Reynolds of Black Oak, Arkansas, George Glover of the Climax Blues Band, Wayne Fontana of the Mindbenders, singer Curtis Lee, Hank Marvin of the group The Shadows, Jay Proctor of Jay and the Techniques, Jim Post of Friend and Lover, Neville Henry of the Blow Monkeys, electronic music pioneer Gershon Kingsley, country music singer Mitchell Torek, Elton Dean of the group Soft Machine, rapper Cody Shane, singer Aiden Calafiore, singer Fletcher Shears of the group The Garden, singer Dianara Torres, and rapper Hoodrich Pablo Juan. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 28th include composer Stefano Landi, who passed away in 1639 at the age of 52. Composer Raphael Weiss passed away in 1779 at the age of 66. Composer James P. Carroll passed away in 1854 at the age of 67. Composer William Glover passed away in 1875 at the age of 56. Composer Johann Herbeck passed away in 1877 at the age of 45. Composer Richard Huberger passed away in 1914 at the age of 64. Composer Andrea D'Angeli passed away in 1940 at the age of 71. Composer Egon Kornauth passed away in 1959 at the age of 68. Composer Mart Saar passed away in 1963 at the age of 81. Jazz saxophonist Earl Bostick passed away in 1965 at the age of 52. Baby Huey of Baby Huey and the Babysitters passed away from drug issues in 1970 at the age of 26. Jazz composer Oliver Nelson passed away in 1975 at the age of 43. Singer Rukmani Devi passed away in 1978 at the age of 55. The band leader of the BBC Dance Orchestra, Mr. Henry Hall, passed away in 1989 at the age of 91. Lyricist Sylvia Kay passed away in 1991 at the age of 78. Composer Robert Lynn passed away in 1999 at the age of 72. Jazz saxophonist Gil Melay passed away in 2004 at the age of 72. Singer Fernando Quejas passed away in 2005 at the age of 83. TV theme songwriter Marjan Wilkins passed away from heart issues in 2006 at the age of 86. Country music superstar Porter Wagner, who also helped to advance the career of Dolly Parton, passed away from cancer in 2007 at the age of 80. The cellist of the Fine Art Quartet from 1941 to 1979, George Sopkin, passed away in 2008 at the age of 94. Folk singer Taylor Mitchell was killed by coyotes while hiking in Cape Breton Highlands National Park in 2009 at the age of 19. Rapper Smiles passed away from a brain aneurysm in 2016 at the age of 24. 
Conductor Richard Gill passed away in 2018 at the age of 76. Composer Zoltan Jenny passed away in 2019 at the age of 76. Country music singer-songwriter Billy Joe Shaver passed away in 2020 at the age of 81. Entertainer Bobby Ball passed away in 2020 at the age of 76. Drummer D.H. Peligro from the Dead Kennedys passed away from a head injury after falling in 2022 at the age of 63. And the man nicknamed the killer, controversial Rock and Roll Hall of Famer and pioneer Jerry Lee Lewis passed away in 2022 at the age of 87. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 29th, when in 1993, the animated movie musical The Nightmare Before Christmas opened in movie theaters. 